Give me up. Herbalist's cart. Got some blood here. Dried, a few days old. Stains, months old. Trail's gone cold. Need to look around, ask. Maybe someone's seen him. to these parts, Master. Lost your way? No. Looking for someone. Ah. Do tell. Perhaps we can help. What is this place, exactly? A village. Plain to see. Abandoned huts is about all I see. It's only us now. Young folk have gone off to the city seeking work, and the old have all died. Ain't that right, Judd? Right as rain. Blood stains in the hut next door. Know anything about that? Aye, course. Judd guts game in there. In someone else's hut? None live there no more, see? And working neath the roof, it's more pleasant, civilized. Rain don't whip and sun don't blind. But why poke your nose in there to start with? Do better to give an old couple some peace. Looking for someone named Fulkert. Light-haired halfling. Ring any bells? Aye. Saw a little one round here. Out picking herbs. Mm-hmm. Till he got hurt. Ran across a trail of blood. Trail led me here. It is just as you say. Wolves had attacked him. 
He fled here seeking shelter. I told him, back to your city, young master. Plenty such dangers hereabouts. But the fool was stubborn. Said he had to pick his blooms aforehand. Ventured back into the woods. And that were the last of him. Heard owling that night. Sent shivers down my spine. So where are his remains? Wolves would have left something. His boots, maybe. Didn't go looking. But well, he's too old to go tramping about in the woods. So long. Damn it. Light haired halfling. Must be Fulkert. Ripped open, gutted and drained. No way to determine the cause of death. into your larder. Meat-rich diet. That what you like? Master, not at all. Tain't like that. Best hope not, or you'll be next to get a hook through your neck. The wolves killed him. Him and the others. We but gather the bodies. That's the truth. We're old and frail. We've no strength to plow or sow. But we gotta eat. I pity, Master. Vow never to eat another bite of human flesh, and I'll let you live. Oh, I swear. Swear it on dear Mother Melitale, on the eternal fire, on... Keep the gods out of it. Swear on your heads, which I will take if you break your vow. I... I... we swear. You live in the middle of nowhere. 
It's out of my way. But I'll be back. Better believe I'll be back. Volkert, your apprentice. I know what happened to him. Out with it. I've gone near daft with worry. Ran into trouble. A freak event. Of what type? Did monsters attack him? Mm -hmm. Could say that. Ah. A treasure, that lad. Dutiful. Mannered. Such a shame. Well, here's your gold. I trust it will serve you well. Hey there. Wouldn't happen to have some Yarrow extract? I do. In the back. Follow me, please. Come. Good. Remains to be seen. Aim to tell me something, I think. So talk. How do I put this? We share a goal. We both need to get into the Borsodi's vault. Both want something that's in there. Why not pool our strengths? Sorry, but what exactly is yours? I have a plan. Spent the last year working on it. On paper. Time to set it in motion. You want, I can count on. The vault. What's in there for you? Something that was stolen from me. Mm, ought I go to the city watch, tell them a crime's been committed, not organize a heist? I've tried. Repeatedly. I see. Cheated by the system, wronged by the world. Doesn't matter. What did they take? Wish to take a good while. So I'd rather change the subject. You're in or not? Before we go any further, you even know what Max Brasotti's house is? I know it's in the vault. Didn't answer my question. Neither of you. Willing to help with the heist, or not? Come on. I don't even know your name. What's that matter? Matters because you're clearly hiding something. Not just from me, either. Wouldn't be sitting in a cellar in this shit all otherwise. We've all some stain on our cultures. But I've not asked for your hand in marriage, just for your help in a heist. We break in, each take what we need, then go our own ways. Try to trick me any way, anyhow, you won't go anywhere, you know that? Because I'll take your head off right where it meets your neck. I'm aware of the risks. So, now that you've threatened me and all, are you in, or are you not? I'm not a thief. It's opportunity makes the thief, Witcher. I speak from experience. <sighs> Talk. Twenty Redanian soldiers guard the auction house, day and night. Patrols walk in circles around it, and here, past this corner, barracks. Brute force is out. Gotta get in quietly. Exactly. Not the simplest thing, though. Main entrance, armored door, windows, dimeridian bars, but... Not a fortress out there without a weakness. This one's no different. Patience happens to be my weakness, so dispense with the dramatic pauses and talk. <clears throat> Beside the house stands a tower from which we can enter the attic. We can't hope to enter the tower from the street on account of the patrols, but 
There's a window 60 feet off the ground. No shutters, no bars. We've got to get up there and sneak across to the auction house, then down the stairs to the cellar. Crack open or blow off the vault door, and voila! Looks bleak to me. Tower walls smooth as glass. Don't know about you, but I can't scale that and... And I've not asked you to. Let me finish. For this to work, we need two more accomplices. One to scale the tower, drop us a line. The other to open the vault. A safe cracker, and a demolition specialist. I've already identified some promising candidates. All we have to do is select and recruit the best among them. Also your job. I'd, uh, prefer to remain largely out of sight. Mm-hmm. Assumed as much given your hood. Anything else? I? Well, that's among the details, which you will learn just as soon as you declare. <sighs> Don't really have any other options. So be it. I'm in. But on one condition. No one dies. That clear? As the great son of Nilfgaard. How about we knock back around? Talk some mutually beneficial relationship. Rather get to work. What comes first? First, you have to assemble a crew. Then, there's the Redanian patrols to cull a bit. Too many wandering around. We could get noticed. All right. Opening the vault. Who do we have? Let's start with the fact that one of them's a dwarf. Casimir Bassi. Native of Mahakam. A specialist in controlled explosions. Folks say he could blow Novigrad to the high heavens with but a pinch of salt, Peter. Bolt door for him should be a cinch. The problem is, Casimir apparently hung up his detonators some time ago. He married, sired some littler ones, and settled in the village of Almas. My plan turns down. Any options? Quinto, the North's most famed safe cracker. Arrest warrants out on him in Kedwin, Lyria, Angrin, and Kavir. Sadly, he got nabbed a few days back by one Hans of Sidaris, a prick mercenary. As far as I know, his troops made camp east of Oxenfurt on the right bank of the Pontar. Hmm. So I'd have to rip one from his cozy home, the other from a cozy cage. Need to think about it. Break in, artists. Tell me about them. Assuming lack of vertigo to be the first requirement. Precisely why my favorite Eveline Gallo. A circus artist no better as the Army. Just now performing with her troop somewhere near Oxenfurt. Her specialities, rhythmic gymnastics. Uh, breaking and entering. Not officially, no, but I've compared the route her troops taken with a list of the most audacious thefts in recent years. A perfect match. Highly doubt that's a coincidence. But if she's reluctant, we've another option in Hugo Hoff, alias Beef Patty. A halfling. Think he's fit? Pudgy face doesn't really match my image of a criminal. You'd be surprised. Hugo's notched up more break-ins than you felled monsters. More importantly, two years past, he nicked the gold-plated cock from the roof of the town hall in Novograd. So, the half man. Word has it, he's holed up in Oxenfurt, in a house near the Novograd gate. Be careful. He's modest in size, but apparently. What's this about culling the patrols? Told you, no one dies. Easy. I don't want anyone's death. Just need some folk to be temporarily indisposed. Spit it out. You've got to approach the garrison's cook. Convince him to spy the soldiers' nosh with something to keep some of them bedridden. One in two, I'd say. Wouldn't want to bear suspicions. <sighs> Know the formula for a potion that might do the trick. Then, see? Brew up a bit of that. Hit the town, find the cook, then convince him to do you a favor. I don't know, cast a spell, toss him some coin. You can also use your fists. 
All oh, right, I'm off. Got a bit to do. As do I. Get it all done, and we'll meet back here. What then? Then we'll bug a horse up, down, and sideways, all together. Quinto. The one and only. A pleasure. But who might you be? Whoa! I'll have no pleasure here. Witcher, keep clear of the cage. Right? What did he do to step on your toes? Ours? Not ours. But he stuck sticks up a number of bankers' asses. Put a tidy price on his head, they did. And as Master Hands of Sidaris is an enterprising individual, he decided to nab me and claim the reward. Anyone give you leave to talk? Shut your trap! I need Quinto. Alive. And I need coin. Lots of it. Lucky thing I don't much care who pays me. You, or the bankers. Just as I said, an enterprising individual. And just as I said, clamp it shut. Stop interrupting. Where was I? Right. Want me to let him go? Pay up. Same as the wanted posters say. Buy him out? Pretty pedestrian. How about we play a round of cards for Quinto's freedom? Hmm, why not? But lose and the price on his head'll double. You in. What the hell? I'm game. Got my fingers crossed.
pass for me too. Let's total it up. I win. Heavy-handed hands, the Tretagor maneuver, with cards like that. <sighs> Get him out of here before I fucking burst up. What? How well, did you? Fishbone, did it yesterday. I was waiting for a lull to slip out. Witcher showed up before I could. Let that be my recommendation. Now, do tell. What's it you need me for? Need you to open something for me. Something bigger than a cage. Sounds interesting. Dying to hear the details. Herbalist's hut near Oxenford. Knock on the door. Ask for yarrow extract. Let's go! Hey, anyone in there? Blood. Hmm. This does not look good. Blood. Someone knocked their head on this beam. Open cut. Bare feet. Fresh prints. Long live, etc., etc. I feel like puking after that school in the canteen. Hey, working in the rain. Looks like Hugo ran into trouble. Gotta find him fast. Damn it. Blood. Still moist. Nothing beyond that. Trail ends here. War continues underwater. Sleeping with a fish. No two ways about it. Gotta find Eveline.
spreads disease. Defeatism and desertion. Maybe it's too long. Say it to a hand or two on Gwent. Uh, not gonna try to sell me something first? My goods are not swallows. They will not flip nor flee. Cards won't either. Do you wish to split hairs all day or play Gwent, hmm? Like to take a look at your wares. Ah, uh, fine. Feels like you might have missed your calling. Oh, curious conclusion, why? Well, should be hawking goods. Instead, Gwent's all you talk about. Hmm. You're right. So, care for a match. So, should we lay him down? Yes, yes, yes. You need not ask twice.
Christmas will come today. The minute we're in trouble, you make me responsible for getting us out. As in Maribor. Remember Maribor? Dove, please don't change the subject. Mind if I do? That depends. Who might you be? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. You Eveline Gallo? The Ermine? Only to friends. Calm down, Merrin. No need to puff up. And you? Talk. What do you want? Rather talk eye to eye. Everline conceals nothing from me, and... And you were to help set up the benches. Immediately. Uh, but... Very well. Once again, what do you want? Got a job for you. Truly? Of what nature? Hmm. Anonymous performance. No audience. At a certain auction house. Pays as much as you can carry. Hmm. You've none of a Fink's features. But you see, I've a problem. All right, out with it. What's this problem? See, we were to do a show. The tickets have all sold. Alas, our friend and colleague, Hawkeye Van, well, he's gone blind. Drank some hooch from a questionable source. A sad story, but not the point. The crowd awaits, so either we find a replacement for him, or we shall have to return the coin. All good and fine, but we're not spent it already. Ah, I think I know where this is going. And I shall get straight to the point. Stand in for Van, and I shall help you. What do I have to do? Jump through some flaming hoops? No. Shoot your crossbow, hit a target. Not a bad shot with my crossbow. Why not? I'm in. Splendid. So, shall we begin? Folk have grown nervous. What? Mean now? No rehearsals? What's there to rehearse? You're to shoot and hit a target. All right. Do or die. Let's begin. That I like. A man who boldly dares damn the risks. Come! And now, good folk, the highlight of our program. Standing before you, Geralt of Rivia, victor of markmanship contest in Angren, Dol Blathana, and Lobinden. Wow, Troy! What? But I... Shh, Geralt, grab your crossbow and get to work. Audacious feat by Geralt of Rivia. We thank you for attending and hope to see you soon. It's a shame that man didn't shoot the elf. That would have been brilliant. You know, I doubted I'd emerge from that ordeal in one piece. Fine work, Geralt. Well, one performance down. What of the next? Herbalist has a hut near here. Ring a bell? Go see him and ask for some yarrow extract. Ooh, a mystery. I adore mysteries. Till later, Witcher.
do you have to say? Lance Corporal Vatslav. How'd that prick wind up with us? Volunteered. Word is he had to bribe the medics to let him enlist. He mad or what? And that's just it. Certifiably insane. Didn't pass the test apparently. But to pay hard coin to enter the army. I thought at my age nothing could surprise me. Nothing about the cook. What do you have to say? Don't you think of it. To marry into a dynasty like that. It'd be like living in Clover. Trust me, you do better not to take any interest in the Basordis. Why the hell not? It can only bring trouble, mate. Only trouble. Hmm. Nothing interesting. What do you have to say? Fish chowder for supper of the day. That true? Who told you? No one. Came through the western gate in the morning. Saw Martin on the pier, rod in hand, fishing. Cook like that's a right. Cook like that's a right treasure he is. No griping about poor supplies. Just a gumption to enrich our gruel. Uh, aye. If only he'd go a bit lighter on the garlic. Pier near the western gate. Should be easy enough to find. be the cook. Good day, fish biting. Aye, they're biting. What about you? What's that? Got this mixture. Pay you to pour it in the soup for the boys of the garrison on my signal. Nothing dangerous about it. Most they'll think is that the fish wasn't exactly fresh. It'll cost you, mate. Something dear. Asking a lot. Too much. How about you do this free of charge, huh? Out of the kindness of your heart. Aye. I'll help. Out to kindness. Wait for the signal. And mum's the word. Understood?
and Countess Yvonne of Lanexeter's necklace. Your handiwork, wasn't it? It was. I scaled a gutter, entered her bedchamber. Ha! <laughs> I knew it, I knew it. Ah! At last, we're all here. Time to begin. This heist is no jest. So if any of you has any doubts, isn't sure, now's the time to leave. Won't be able to after. The Borsodi's auction house, its vault. That's our target. Everline, you'll enter through the tower when the patrol rounds this corner. Drop us a line. We have to be inside within five minutes, as I'm off. It's plenty. Splendid. Once we're all in the tower, we'll proceed to the auction house. Shouldn't see any guards inside. If we do, we'll have Geralt and his blades. Then, downstairs to the vault. Quinto will crack the lock. We get in the vault, take the loot, disappear out the back through a secret passage. I've said my piece. Any questions? Got a horse sense take on this. Secret passage. If we plan to use it on the way out, why not on the way in? Excellent question. Why not? Every corridor has two ends, right? Like a rope. I know the location of just one end. It's in the vault. The other, it's somewhere beneath the city. But I can't tell you where. Mm -hmm. Great. But if you were to... Find that location, I wouldn't need any of you. Believe you me, I've tried. Time and again. Anything else? Additional security measures. Traps. Any inside? Anything we need to watch out for? Nothing particularly dangerous. Here on the ground floor, there's a rope linked to the bell in the tower. Anyone sounds the alarm, there'll be trouble. How do we stop it from ringing? Don't pull the rope. As I said, the auction house ought to be empty. I don't expect any problems. What about the vault? How is it secured? With a door. But you ought to be able to handle it. Any other problems, we resolve as they come. Anything else? Hmm. All good and fine, except... What if something goes wrong? Seriously? You're on your own. We all are. Just like that? No room for friendship in this business. All right, let's get to work. I want to be done with this as soon as possible. We'll reconvene in the gateway beside the tower. Midnight sharp. And everyone's to make sure they're not followed. I'll get word to the cook in the barracks. What about wearing masks? Not a city in the north that don't have wanted posters with my likeness hanging about. I'll tend to that. Ah, one last thing. Inform the City Watch. Blabber anything about this over a nail, and I'll kill you with my own hands. If you're so damn scared somebody will talk, let's all go there together, now. Any objections? Anyone need more time? On our way, then. Let's begin. Prime. Just one patrol. Mixture of yours must have worked. Eveline, you ready? Are you kidding? Of course I am. Three, two, one. It's clear. On your way. Plowing city foul. Shite all over again. What?
memory serves, you assured us there'd be no one inside. Seems my informer was wrong. Is that all you've got to say? I nearly broke my neck. You knew what you were signing up for. This is no time to argue. Not the time, true. But we'll discuss this later. You can be sure of that. At your service, mate. One guard could mean many more. You'd best draw your sword now. No. What now? No one dies. Said so from the start. Whatever. Don your masks and let's go. For now, knock on wood. Good. Eyes in the back of your heads, everyone. Mine are open. I've already seen several things I'd gladly take with me. Not now. The f yes, but we shall raise the starting. Watch this. Guards! Guards! Should have stayed in that cage. You said. I damn well know what I said. At them before they sound the alarm. Stop him! He's not to flee! Lock themselves in. Bollocks! Damn it. Lay down your arms! You have no chance! Perhaps not. <laughs> but we do have hostages. Mercy, Master! On the count of three, we go in! One! Two! Come one step closer and folk will die! Hold now! We must negotiate. What are your demands? To release the hostages? Buy us a bit of time, Geralt. Not about to hide behind these folk. I'm letting them go. Are you mad? Any idea what'll happen? Yes. And you have any idea what'll happen if you try to stop me? Out of my way. Now. An honorable deed! The court's sure to consider it a mitigating factor. Now, you've one minute to come out. One at a time. Hands on your heads! I'm going. Up the chimney and out. It's grown too hot, pure and simple. Best of luck, gentlemen. Drink to our health. Once you're far away. You had your chance! Attack! Still insist on using that wooden sword. Get to work, Quinto. We'll try and hold off the assault.
satisfied, conscience still clear. Follow my own rules. Couldn't give a shit if you approve. Right. Our paths will diverge soon enough. In the meantime, the vault awaits. Ought to be open by now. The lock, lovingly crafted. Two spring-loaded bolts, cylindrical plugs, Dameritian wards. I'm not interested. No one's interested. We go in. Geralt, you're at the fore. Why me? It's why I hired you. Now move, with no time. Mm -hmm. Do or die. Same paintings were on the block. Same paintings were on the block. You don't know who you're fucking with! On the contrary, I know all too well. You... you old... Greetings, brother. Been years. Well, well. Complications, complications. Same double chin, same rotten heart. Just one question. This family reunion? What's the point? Revenge. For betrayal. Years of poverty. Humiliation. Father left the auction house to me in his will. Horst cheated me. 
had me disinherited. Anything. Everything we earned, you squandered on cards and whores. Father didn't see that. I did. That's no excuse, host. I won't save your life. You two, stand with me. I'll not let the Redanians lay a hand on you. Give you whatever you want. Not about to meddle, especially not in family matters. Then you'd have done better not to break into my vault. I fear it's too late to turn neutral. Stand with me, and I shall drape you in gold. Stand against me, and you'll remain here forever. If that's your attitude, I'll stand with you, old. Speak for yourself. Tempting offer. I've succumbed. You'll pay for that, Quinto. With your head. At them! I'd have preferred to resolve this elsewise. Stolen the scrolls, thrown you out into the street. Revenge is best served cold, after all. But I don't mind serving it hot. No. I beg you. Mercy. For your brother. I shall do anything you ask. Truly. Anything. Anything. Sign over to me. All that you own. Then walk out as you stand. Just the clothing on your back. Allow me one thing. Any one thing. Fifteen years. In the sewers. Like a beast. And you the cheek. To plead. Satisfied? Exceptionally. You? No. And I won't be until I find Max Brasotti's house. In this vault, or so you said. And it is. There. But I fear it's not yours for the taking. You see... It houses my father's will. A scroll thanks to which Ewald Borsodi, long missing, will assume the family. Fortune. And Geralt of Rivia, who you cheated, what'll he assume? Alas, but he's free to choose anything else. You tricked me. And you were prepared to let me face Horst's thugs alone. To my mind, we're even. Now, Max Borsodi's house. If you've absolutely got to have it, you'll need to take it from me by force. Hmm. Dumb. But have it your way. Let's make this quick before the soldiers get down here. As I said, at your service, mate.
here soon. Damn it, secret passage. Where is it? Chat. I'm all ears with you. Got something for you. I love gifts, but I prefer to unwrap them in private. Oi, lads, mind the barrels. Going out for a jabber with Geralt. Come. Oh, that's better. All right. What do you have for me? Max Persodi's house, as requested. Ah, Horst must be livid. He's not. No? He's not anything except dead. His brother, same thing. A few others too. Stones you've got. Well, I didn't think you'd have the stomach for a massacre. I think I might find the stomach for another, once your final wish is fulfilled. <laughs> you really don't like me, do you? Hate smartasses. Hate it when they try to use me. It's why both brothers are dead, and why you should tread carefully. Noted. Now I have some advice for you. The Borsodis aren't worth your tears. 
Sons of bitches to a man. Horst's brother. Did you know about him? I should think so. Ewald was famous in certain circles. Which ones? The kind noble witches don't usually associate with. He murdered for coin, no questions. Without batting an eye. Always extravagantly, though. If not for his damn surname, I believe I'd have invited him to join the company. Why did you need those papers? To sink the Borsodis, naturally. You see, I learned of an interesting clause in old man Maximilian's will. It states that his sons must meet and shake hands in agreement at least once a year at Bellate. Failing that, the auction house must be auctioned off. The proceeds to go to Bill Maria's hospital. Guess the old man sensed what might happen. Horst and Yule are annoying on soil now. But thanks to these papers, their relatives won't get the auction house. Family's lost it for good. And the hospital will have the funds it needs to treat orphans and beggars pro bono. Awfully noble of you, showing so much concern for the needy. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the needy. May they wither and disappear along with the city. I wanted one thing. Revenge. The Borsodis. What's your gripe? They kicked out of an auction. Worse. They evicted me from a home. Are you really interested? Wouldn't have asked if I wasn't. Ha! <laughs> Cheeky as ever. My family. They took on some debt. A poor investment in a soda. A bad crop one year. A lawsuit lost. You know how it is. When it rains, it pours. We needed it but a few weeks to recover. But Horst Borsodi had acquired our debt. All of it. Demanded it be repaired immediately. I pleaded. I begged. I tore open my shirt at his threshold. Ugh. It was like talking to a wall. I went to the auction. Saw those perfumed pricks by my father's sword. My mother's death mask. My brother's horse tack. Ah. Horst earned a pretty pile selling our mementos. No surprise, the animosity you feel for him. That was but the start. My Iris's parents learned of my family's misfortune. And our betrothal was no more. They found her another suitor. One from beyond the sea. The anger I felt. I thought I'd gone mad. Went to the tavern. Drank around. A second. I brawled. Then had another tankard. And then... Then, I asked the wrong bloke for help. Sad story. Isn't it? Truthfully, I'm surprised I retained any cheer in my soul. Well, why do you stand there? Do you need something still? Third wish. Time you stated it. A moment, Geralt. I will say to something. Then we'll chat. You there. Yank the herring out the barrel. Dallying. Oh, oh, oh. Now, ready to listen? Or do you still not give two shots about what I've got to say? I'm ready. I'm listening. Good. You'll return to your lord and tell him as follows. His demand was brazen. Hurt me to the core. For I was brought up to respect the sacred law of hospitality. And I shall not bend to an uncouth boar's dictum. Understood? 
I will pay him a visit shortly to test his willingness to adapt. So you ride off and announce me. And don't spare your horse. Got it? Aye, got it. Give this man a mount and leave him go. Come with you. We must talk outside. The Afiri believe one should only discuss important matters out of doors with the gods as witnesses. Must have made quite a few enemies along the way. Maybe not today and not tomorrow, but someday someone will find a way to take you down. And that should trouble me why. I feel no fear, no regret. The wise men of Oxenfurt claim there are no gods. After death, there is only the void. I've known this void already. Death holds no surprises. Beryl, what was that about? On the way here, we stopped for nourishment at a tavern belonging to one Lord Dauntless. We enjoyed ourselves as one does at an inn, raucously. Our antics were not to the liking of this Dauntless. Sent a man to warn us that if we were ever to return, we would hang. You burn the inn down? I left ample compensation with the innkeep. But it seems the rapscallion neglected to mention this to his lord. But that's of little import. What matters is someone called me a horse and threatened to kill me. It was one of those threats that sound like an invitation. I intend to accept it. Return to those parts. Fulfilled two of your wishes. Time I learned the third. Confident, aren't you? Proud, sure of your strengths. Fearless. Third task, if you don't mind. Mutations. They stripped you of emotion. Tell me, have you ever loved? I mean, truly loved. You don't give a shit, old Gerd. You'd make piss poor company for a talk about love anyway. Third wish. Still waiting to hear it. Why? Aren't you stubborn? Fine. Listen well. I had a wife once. The day I saw her last, I gave her a rose. A violet one. Bring me that blue. Wouldn't mind reminding myself what it looks like. <sighs> when was that? How long's it been? Flowers wilted and turned to dust by now. You wished to hear a wish. Now you out. Fulfill it. I ride now to visit this Dormus, but one of my men will remain here. He'll know how to find me. That is, of course, should you succeed. At least you could tell me where your wife is. In my old manor, east of Martin Foy's farmstead. I'd wish you God speed, but, well, you understand, I'm sure. Goodbye, Geralt. One drink all I had. Crawl back onto your rock.
approach. Hey! You hear Take me? Take it easy. Anyone there? 